fire it up. Turn it. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to not break it. Yep. As soon as you hear the motor come to life, you just let go of the key. You don't. You don't need to twirl it back because that'll actually shut it off. Oh no, that's too much gas. Right. Very powerful machine. Okay. Yeah. It's it's not a Honda. But I forgot everything that. Um, uh, always put your foot. Time. Always put your foot on the brake pedal. Put your foot on the brake pedal. Where's the brake? Here. Yes. Yeah. One's a brake and one's a gas. Put your foot all the I way down on the brake pedal. I was going to give it That's a good. That's, that's enough. Now keep it right there. Now shift it into drive. I don't know how to Park is... It. Wait, listen to me. Park is the first one, which it's in right now. Then reverse. We don't want to go in reverse, okay? We'll smash into stuff. Neutral is the second one. And then the third pop is, is drive. So count clicks. Okay, one more, and you'll feel it. There you go. Okay, once you're down on that, you know that you're in drive. As soon as you feel it, like. Well, I'm letting off the brake a little bit. Yeah, just let off the brake. Don't give it gas because it'll it'll take off like Fully a rocket. Let off of the gas uh, of the yeah. uh, brake. You're only allowed idle speed. <laughs> yeah, I know. But that's because I barely taught anything. I mean, there's there's a creek right there, and there's a <laughs> river down there, and we don't want to go into either one. Uh, I have a feeling that I'm going to be a better driver, but I also what, don't... What, Dominic and I mean? Yeah, but at the same time, I well, also feel like I'm not... Go that way. Wait, that way? Yeah. That way you don't have to struggle so much with the turn. Just follow the gravel path. Mm -hmm. um, How many times can we go around a few? Yeah. <clears throat> you can let off on the brake pedal and just let it cruise at idle speed. Of course, never mistake the pedals for each other because. Yeah, I know. If you but jump on the gas and thinking it's the brake. You're going to go right in, straight into the. Into the something. Trailer. Or something. Don't drive off the road because it's a. I know, I'm not that good with steering. That might well, that, be a situation for my driving, but. Well, the best way to be good with steering is to center the car, okay? Yeah, but I don't know how to keep it centered. So well, just... that's, that's where the practice comes in. So. You're, you're over there on that side, I'm on this side. So just imagine where you are sitting. Imagine is where there you enough are, space over there? Uh, yes, imagine where you are sitting is the center, okay, of the road. Well, okay? because the seat, like, it's a little bit hard to uh, see the, when I, I, I kinda sometimes. Doesn't even, it doesn't even matter if it's a, a right hand drive car, okay, where you're sitting, you have to kind of imagine as being sort of the center of the of the little road that you're on, and that you know for beginners, okay, for very beginners, that's the way you think about something like that. But soon I want to figure out how to don't control go, the don't gas. Don't go that way. Don't go straight ahead. Turn. I know. I'm trying not to drive all the way that much in the puddle. But I guess you can't really avoid it. Make the turn a little wider, so we don't go into them. We don't get stuck in the mud because it's. Straighten it out. I kind of want to give it a little bit of gas because no, I can't No, we'll, we'll smash into those trucks. Just get off the brake pedal. I'm iron off of it though. It'll, it'll idle its way out. It's, yeah, it's just kind of a slow process. Uh, it's got a tremendous amount of torque. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go that way for a little bit so then I can straighten it okay. out. Okay. I mean in like 11 months I could start driving or learning at least. True. So get, I want to be prepared you before I permit. go there. Because they put you straight onto the road. Like not right away, but like you don't even get to practice in the parking lot. You just have to go. I'm not trying to kill people. At least not right now. <coughs> Can we go around a few more times? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> give it, you can give it a tidbit of gas. But I don't know how to control it. Just the harder you press down, the faster it goes. Down, oh, oh. Well, I did jerky because I didn't want to keep my foot on it. It only takes a smidgen, Nora. That doesn't, was less than a smidgen for yeah, me. Yeah, right? It doesn't take a lot. We're getting close to the creek in that semi truck, so we don't want to smash into. You don't really need the brake so much, but I definitely. I'm not even on 
done it and just getting ready. You definitely don't need any gas whatsoever. I mean, if you've been driving for a long time, you probably would, but that's not the case right now. It was better to do it during winter time because the first time that we did this, or like the second, whatever time it was, it was during the summer, and I got, I left the truck with like, no joke, I'm not over exaggerating, but like 15 mosquito bites or 20. Oh, yeah, That's well, not over exaggeration. It wasn't fun. There won't be any mosquitoes until. And I couldn't even drive properly because I was like down here itching my legs while we were driving. Yeah, there won't be any mosquitoes around here for a couple more months, so. Which is good. We'll drive that way. That's why I like winter. You don't have to worry about dumb mosquitoes. Next year, you could show up at the scrapyard with the with the truck and fling the stuff off on our, on your own if you wanted to. <laughs> well, I still need somebody in the car next year. Yeah, no. Watch all the guys staring, right? <laughs> Girl power claims. find out like how Eileen finds out and you know, I told her I go watch all the guys will run to the your they'll run to your rescue. You need help? Mm -hmm. No. Right. You probably need help mentally, but besides that <coughs>
best way to make to be a good driver is to make the car feel like 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 it's dragging like it's dragging a boat anchor okay like you're pulling something even though you're not rather than you're like a meteor or something like that or you know you're just hurtling down the mountainside i'm not going straight i'm just like yeah. letting a wide turn if you if you give the feeling of the fact that you're careening down the road like you just um yeah that's not good you know, you do like I do, and you make it feel like you're dragging like a boat anchor or something like that. You know what I mean? You feel like um, nothing bad's gonna happen. I wonder if they abandoned that Dakota right there. That's got a, that six banger that mine's got. My red one. Driving is actually okay. So driving to me. I feel like if I was like using speed would be stressful. Like whenever I'm just like like this. Well, I got I, feel like it's I got that Monte Carlo for Eileen, and I think that's just too powerful of a car. You know, had I, had I thought about it and knew the way of a driver that she would have been, I would have got her like some really way underpowered like uh, Toyota. Uh, yeah, a Toyota or like a no like a. That'd be funny uh, watching Eileen drive a Toyota. Uh, yeah, or no, a, a, a Chrysler Plymouth uh, K car. I don't, I don't know if you ever remember, remember that gray one that I had, that square boxy little car that... Well, oh, Eileen wouldn't get it in a, into an accident like with the small little teeny cars. Yeah. She would get in an accident with it because she'd be like pressing so hard on this that if she like jerked, she would just hit the windshield because it's such a small space. It's well, like I, got that, I got into that big car because I didn't want her to die in a car accident. Better to, I want my kid to live. I, I don't care about the person you hit. <laughs> I care about you. So. Okay, well, I did it in a science project and it was like on stress because we got to choose what we wanted to do because our family is full of stress. And I figured, well, I'm going to involve my with stress. So, first, I had to do a bunch of background research and stress. And yeah. Well, my blood, pressure is, my blood pressure is the lowest in the family. But a bunch of symptoms for stress, or mm -hmm. at least then. But at least, um, a bunch of symptoms for stress, like one of them is like guilt oh, or yeah. worry. And I, I feel very guilty all the time whether I've done something wrong or not. Oh. Like, right. yeah, was... no, like literally, like somebody could have done something and yeah. I have no control over it and I, I'm not even involved, but well, I, feel, I feel guilty for it. That's being Catholic, and that's there's a thing called Catholic guilt. <laughs> Yeah, I always feel teach really you, guilty for no reason. Too. They teach you to feel guilty at all times. No, really. Well, that's not <laughs> fair. I don't like feeling guilty for nothing yeah, I did. It's yeah. not fun. That's part of our religion. You just feel guilt. Everybody's like, I don't care. I don't care. And then yeah. there's me. I'm like, I care. And everybody's like, well, you're rude. I'm like, well, actually, deep down, I'm the nicest person you're ever going to meet. Because I, I don't hurt people's hearts. I might punch you, but I don't hurt people's hearts. <laughs> We're gonna wrap this up and just go around up there and park. So I can go to the scrapyard. So where do I park? Make some scrapyard claims. Just go all the way down to the, you know, back down there, you know. You can give it a wanna little gas. Wanna see me try and park? Just a little bit of gas. Go, give me some gas. That's a lot. No, well, just that's, get, that's why you don't yeah, let it off. You don't gotta hit the brake right away right now because of Wait, where we're try? at. Can I try one more time? Yeah, but don't do it on the tippy tip. There you go. Well, I don't know how to make it like relaxed. Now get, gently give it gasoline. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. And we went to really I give it just a tip more. Just a little tip bit more. Just a little tip bit. Okay, no more gas. Now I'll use the brake. Apply the brake 100%. Come, on, come to a stop. Come to a stop. Bring it to, don't, don't move the gear shift lever until the car is stopped all the way. Now put it now put it in park. Keep your foot on the brake. Yeah, because you'll you'll ruin the transmission if you throw it in the, the car will not stop. No, don't shut it off. Leave it, leave it running. Uh, 
switch drivers. Lots of practice is required. Lots and lots and lots. Until you're a pro. <coughs> You'd be the absolute pro with all the garbage all over. <laughs> Which I should actually take care of. This, this is terrible. <laughs> Onto the scrapyard. You. What a nice, glorious day. <laughs>